Hey, YouTube, another installment unboxing here. Let's see about today's packages. So we've got a 2003 proof, silver proof set. So we've got a 2003. San Francisco Mint Half, Deep Cameo, same thing with the dime, the dollar, penny, and the nickel. As far as the half, we're about $6 today in melt value, and another dollar here, so about $7. $8, including face value, and that's a change, so, you know, with the nice casing and everything, maybe, maybe $10 uh, for the item that I typically look uh, to get somewhere around the melt value uh, when I'm buying these things but uh, and I have a quarter set that goes with this that has another well it's about 13 or 15 dollars worth of melt so together they make a set and the box for them and stuff so this will be a good addition to that sure enough that's what I said I didn't want to do I don't do anything but I think it's okay yeah, it's just a piece of paper what do we have here it's all coins Pretty cool. Found these on an online auction. We have a Grant. Nope, Moses Cleveland. Sorry. Cleveland Great Lakes Exposition Cleveland Centennial. Uh, so that's pretty cool. This is from this is a commemorative half from 1936. 100 years or so. Centennial. Very cool. This is a. Uh, I know what this is. It says it, says it here, 1917 S Type 1, but I was looking for the date. The date is worn, but you can still make it out, and you can see the S in the corner there. But the real telltale sign is that there's no stars under the eagle. No stars underneath. So there's the Walking Liberty. 17S. So, they switched this. This is a Type 1. The Type 2 that year had three stars underneath. Another commemorative. We've got, uh, what do we have here? This is worn, somewhat. But we have a Lex, Lexington Concord. Sequential. Uh, sequentennial. Sorry about that. 1925. And I don't see a mint mark on this, so this will be a Philly. Uh, a little bit worn, but still a uh, very collectible coin. And I know from prices that I'm paying for these things that uh, I'm probably getting, uh, you know, resale value about twice what I pick them up for uh, if I was to sell them off. Here's what they call a, pi a Pilgrim. It's the Pilgrim half dollar. Uh, really nice coin as well. I just love the design on these. This is actually the first one I have. I've been wanting one of these for a long time for my personal collection, so this one uh, will stay in my set. But 1920, six, uh, 1620 to 1920, Pilgrim Tercentennial, or cer uh, Tercentary Celebration. Uh, and you can see the, the ship, the boat there, uh, I guess that's probably Mayflower, right? From the Pilgrims' uh, first landing at Plymouth Rock, I would guess. I'm going to have to do a little research and find out if that's the, the history behind this. I'll edit it in and give you a voiceover if I can figure that one out, but pretty cool design. One of my favorites, especially being a guy uh, that lived a good portion of my life growing up in New England. Uh, stuff from this time period uh, is pretty cool. 1839 seated dime. And uh, what you can see here, it's pretty warm, but there was some drapery that was not on the arm behind the Seated Liberty in that year. And so this is what they call a no drapery 
dime. It's a little more collectible, and you can kind of see it there in the picture. It's worn pretty well, but you know, it's still, uh, you can make out what it is. The date is visible, the stars, it's got good relief on some of that stuff. Pretty worn on the back, but it does one dime, and you can see the wreath. So, uh, you know, pretty neat little addition. That's a 58 proof Roosevelt. I've got a couple of sets of these, and sometimes you get partial coins out of them. And so, you know, just having something that completes, if I can buy this for silver value at, you know, under two bucks, I'll do it all day. So, we got that, and then this one came with it in the same lot. It says it's proof. It's certainly uncirculated. Yeah, it's got a mirror finish somewhat. You can maybe see that in the camera. It's 56. And. You can also tell no mint mark. Make sure that you don't have something mismarked there. And we have a 64 mint error clipped planchet. So you can see right there, you've got yourself a missing piece of the coin where the mint and striking it took a piece. And then we have. Uh, 1877 seated Liberty half and you know these things sometimes I pay a little more than melt for them just because they're so dang old and you know they're in limited supply so you know they're not making any more of them and um, you know it's in so so shape you can read that it's a half dollar and you can see the Eagle and uh, United States of America and the banner but not you know most of the words are rubbed and you can make out the seated Liberty but uh, without too much detail. So, you know, it's maybe something I put a little more, you know, up to about 10 bucks on. This is a Federal Reserve note from 1929 when the banks were issuing treasury notes directly. This was the Federal Reserve Bank of New York, New York. Certain uh, of the uh, reserve banks issued these, uh, and out of the five, uh, there's certain that are more valuable than others. This is also a second series, so it's a B series. They had numbers, serial numbers on the earlier ones, uh, but still, known as a brown seal, very collectible, and this one is in really nice shape. There's a fold down the middle and one across the half. Uh, no pinholes, and uh, you know, a little bit of a high strike across the uh, printing across the top, but pretty well centered on the back. Anyway, that's neat. Uh, a little $2 first day issue from Garden City, New York on April 18th, 1976 with a crossed out stamp. So this is a 76 $2 bill and postmarked like that with the stamp in uncirculated condition. These are pretty cool. Uh, and then, you know, a funny back that is kind of torn up is a 1928 one dollar. They call it a funny back because the dollar on the back uh, was different than the design that uh, was was changed through. This is a 28, and they had uh, they had these uh, in 34 as well, and then in 35 they switched. And then they uh, you may have seen my video with the no motto bills. Um, you know, similarly, uh, prior to 35, this one's actually burnt at the bottom. That is interesting. So when you talk about bad shape, not only is it torn uh, and missing little pieces, but uh, it's burnt. But for, you know, $2 for a collectible piece like this, uh, you know, I'll pick them up all day long. This is a 57 proof set in capital holder, is what it says. And it says it's beautiful, which... I would agree with. Uh, very nice. Some rainbow toning on the dime. You might be able to see that on the back of the dime. A little bit towards the bottom, more spotting. Mean, this is a 57, a little toning on the outside of the Franklin, but a really, really nice proof set, in my opinion. As you've seen me open those, I like them. They're collectible. Uh, let's see here. We've got like an entire sheet. And this just says silver, silver, silver. Uh, and what it is is a 54 
looks to be just about AU or BU quality. I don't think it's proof, although it could be. No, it looks like a brilliant uncirculated, uh, not quite the mirror finish that you'd expect. You can see the difference on the BU. There's a good example. See the shine on the 57, which is a proof. Then you see this one side by side and you don't quite have the same mirror finish. You have kind of a dull, but uncirculated or almost uncirculated, so some, some good value there. Uh, wait, they give me a bunch of these sheets, so each one of these has its own sheet. It's kind of silly, uh, but it's, I guess, a good way to pack them. This one looks like, you know, either those are bag marks or it's got a little bit of wear, but again, a 57, uh, and uh, this is actually a D-mint, so it's you know, maybe uh, it's probably somewhat circulated actually looking at the wear, but it's in good shape. Um, you know, the bell lines are worn off, so either it was struck without them being full or it's just so circulated. Uh, you know, that that's, that's happened. This is a 57D, so that's, you know, six dollars uh, or more worth of silver at today's prices. And then a 58 silver proof set in a capital holder. Beautiful, again. And uh, let's pull this one out and take a look at what we've got here. So you've got United States proof set, and it, this one says 50 cents, just like the other one. You've got blue and red. You've got a 57, and then this one is a 58. Um, so anyway, these are pretty cool, pretty collectible, and pretty sellable. So, you know, you find one like this, Maybe look at the ones that are in your collection, compare them, and uh, you know if you got one that's maybe a little less desirable, has some scratches, you sell it. Uh, anyway, that was it, guys. So uh, for the unboxing video. Pretty cool. Colonial or uh, colonial constitutional silver and some other stuff. Pretty neat. Anyway, till next time, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and catch you on the next unboxing or whatever.